Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, today, I will tell you exactly what date we're looking at here. It is, uh, I think it was today, the 20, 22nd? Yes, March 22nd, I'm sorry. Um, it is Tuesday. Um, I wanted to do this video a couple days ago, but everything else was going on, so I didn't get it up. Um, as of Sunday, we have been living off grid for nine months. So I kind of wanted to do um, an update on that. You know, most people, if they're going to fail uh, doing the off grid lifestyle, fail within the first year. And I can say that we're thriving. I mean, you know, we've made the huge strides in the last nine months and uh, it continues to get better. I mean if you've been watching the videos you see that we're in the process of getting our water system squared away so that we can have running water in the house which is going to be huge. Um, being able to take showers in the house which is going to also be huge. You know it is a progress and it's a progression. I mean now somebody had said to me well what would you have done if you hadn't had your mother living in town and uh, you know we would have dealt with it, obviously. Um, we would have heated water up on the stove, and we would have taken, you know, they call it a horse bath, you know, where you basically washcloth and you, you know, we get basically get a bin and sit it, stand in a bin or whatever, and just wash off that way. I mean, we would have done what we had to do. But, you know, luckily for us, we had the option of being able to go into town and take showers at my mom's. So, obviously, we're going to take advantage of that. Um, I know another young man that, uh, that is in this area and he's off grid as well and right now I mean he's got two little kids and they have uh, you know a trough like the drinking trough that they use for cows and stuff like that and the kids get their baths in that he also had a, bu a buddy at his house where he goes and he takes showers so you know you work around your situation until you can make your situation better the goal is always to make progress to make things more comfortable, more livable, if you will. Um, you know, in nine months, we've gone from living in a 37-foot camper to living in the house and still having the camper as an option for other things, you know. Um, we'll be able to also shower in the camper this, you know, in the warmer weather here. So, I mean, we're still, we're in spring, yes, but, I mean, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that it was snowing yesterday. Um, it was snowing last night. There was a dusting of snow on the ground today. It's gone now because it's warmed up. It's in the low 40s today. So, you know, and it's sunny and it's actually a nice day outside. But, um, you know, like I said, the, the, the biggest thing is, and I, I'll be honest with you, I, and this is my, my thought process on this. The biggest thing when you move off grid is to have a positive attitude. Your attitude is everything. If you're looking at everything negatively, it's going to be negative. If you look at things and you say, okay, if we make this step, it's going to make things better. If we make this step, it's going to make things better. I mean, I remember, I was really, when we got the, when we got the house, and we were working on a house, and my biggest thing was I had to get this freaking wood stove in. And, um, you know, once we got the wood stove in, then I'm like, okay, cool. Now we can be warm. That was the biggest thing for me at that point in going into the fall, was making sure that we could be warm, that we're not going to freeze. Um, you know, and it was a freaking, you know, very mild winter this year. We did have some very cold days, but even on the coldest days, if I had the fire going full blast cranking, we had the windows open. So I would rather be able to have to do that than sit here freezing to death. You know, I mean, it just makes more sense. Um, but, you know, it's, again, it's, it, it's a progression. You, you work on this, you get that done. You work on this, you try to get that done. Now, right now, I'm kind of pulled in a couple different directions. I'm waiting on something else um, to come in for my solar system, and once that comes in, then I can work on that next step and getting that all squared away. And, you know, I'm also working on the rain catchment and getting that squared away. So, you know, it's, like, again, it's a progression. Um, we just had the propane uh, guy came in, you know, they delivered that and set that all up yesterday. And, you know, obviously that was done by a professional company, so it's all up to code. So there's no issues with that. I mean, they even do a test to make sure there's no leaks. So everything's Hi, away with that. Hey, Bubba. And, um, but like I said, you know, we're getting there. And uh, it, it's, for me, it's exciting. And I know, like I said, keeping things as normal as possible for the kids has always been key for me. 
and I've tried to do that. And I've been, I was very honest with them right from the very beginning. When we first moved up here, I told them, I said, the first two weeks up here are really going to probably suck. And they did. But once we got things to a point, and, you know, again, it's a progression. This is done, now things are better. This is done, now things are better. And now we're in the process, like I said, I knew we weren't going to get water in here before the winter. I knew it. So we humped water in all winter long. We washed our dishes that way and, you know, brushed our teeth and whatever. You, you do what you have to do, okay? You know, now we're getting towards, well, it's technically spring, but it's not going to be that well up here yet for a while. I mean, up here where a guy, people in the south are already planting their crops outside, we don't plant up here until May, realistically, because the weather just doesn't allow for it. Now, if we have a you know, really good, and you know they're going to be a good warm streak, you could probably plant here in the beginning of May. Normally, it's by the end of May. Excuse me. It just, you know, it just depends on, like I said, the weather up here is totally different. Like, um, if you go look at Icky Can's camp, um, you know, channel, um, the sap just started, <coughs> excuse me, the sap just started running where he is. Well, our sap run is done here. There's no, It's all done. So, you know, and he's still got a ton of snow on the ground, but he's well north of Toronto. And I'm not going to say where exactly he is, but he is well north of Toronto. And so, you know, we were, where I'm at here, I am like four hours from Toronto. So, and he's farther north than that. So it, it's, a, it's quite a ways north. So there are a lot colder temperatures and their, their spring or spring and summer is completely different than ours. Where you, people from the south, like I said, they're already planning, they're outside, they're doing their outside work. You know, I'm still waiting for that weather to really break so I can get out there and not be freezing my butt off and start getting things done. You are going to see a lot of me cleaning up this year. You're going to see a lot of me cutting wood this year because um, it's got to get done, you know. Um, again, it's just a process, you know. Some of the days you're going to be like, Jesus, he's just been doing wood cutting for like a week or whatever. You know, I mean, I don't know. But I'm just using that as an example. There's a lot that I have to do outside while we can do stuff outside you know um last year i was handcuffed because of the cancer surgery and so it like threw my whole summer off i was down i couldn't do anything so it was really really frustrating because there's a ton to do um i got want to get a lot of things set up i want to get a chicken coop in place this year and then get my chickens but i want to have that all built and everything set up before i get my chickens so you know Again, it, it's a progression, you know, and uh, I will have a garden this year, maybe not a huge garden. Um, I want to try to get the greenhouse built this year. Again, it's all things, it's a process, you know, and eventually I'm going to set up an aquaponic system. That I think will be really, really cool because I'll be able to really grow, you know, even in the wintertime. So, you know, it, 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 you just have to, you take your steps, you set goals, and you say, okay, Let's, here's a good example, okay, setting goals, say, okay, here we are, we're living off grid, now you prioritize, what is the most important thing, okay, so you set that goal, you try to reach that goal, once you reach that goal, you check that off your list, that's done, like with having the house here, and getting what we've done inside done, I don't have to worry about that anymore, that's already done now, like, you know, having the wood stove put in, having the, the electrical wiring run, you know, um, having the bathroom built, the Heather's bedroom built, my bedroom built, Eddie's loft is built. You know what I mean? All those things are done now. Um, we're still working in the kitchen area. That's going to take time. We're still working in the bathroom area. That's going to take time. But the things that we have done, we don't have to do those things again. We can move on to the next things. And it's always making progress. And, you know, it's been awesome. I mean, for, for me personally, I'm very, very excited. I know I have a lot to do yet. I mean, a lot to do yet. And I'm talking not, oh, six months and we'll be done. No, I'm talking years of things to do. But I'm going to make those steps. I'm going to set goals. And I'm going to try to reach those goals. And once I reach that goal, then we move on to another project. So, you know, it, it will all come together. Um, you know, and I'm excited for where the future's going for us. I really, really am. I mean, once I get this solar, the new stuff all set up and stuff like that, I think it's going to improve our life even that much more. You know, um, we are running on solar right now, okay? And we'll probably have the solar on until 7 o'clock tonight at least, and then the kids will put the generator on. You know, once I switch my system over, the goal is 
to not have to run the generator at all. I have enough storage in the batteries that I'm running all night long. Okay, and again, want and need. What do we need? What do we want? The kids like to be on their laptops. They like to, you know, have that power to be able to do that. They want to have the lights on. I want to have them be able to do that. I don't want to have to have them sitting in the dark or have to have them running the generator. So the, the the process from the very beginning, and if you goes if you go back to when we first moved up here, you will see what I said. The first year I plan on using solar and the generator, combination of both. My ultimate goal is to wean myself completely off the generator, have it for a backup, which will be nice. Oh, I have to go. I got a call coming in, so I will talk to you guys later. Prepper nurse one out for now. Hello?